Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I just finished up one of the craziest live streams I've ever, ever had on my channel on uh, FIFA 20 uh, and on Twitch. So if you want to check that link out, that link is below the description. I do stream on there. But we opened a bunch, a bunch of packs tonight and we packed a Team of the Year card. I know it's not the best one, but it's a start. It's my first ever Team of the Year card that I've ever packed and it's Allison. Some people say this card's not very good in game, but it is what it is. It's a 97 rated team of the year item, uh, and it fits perfectly in my team. I actually had the other Allison in my team, um, the, the team of the year nominee one. So that was freaking awesome that I packed that card today. Um, and yeah, so I've just packed my first ever team of the year. We'll probably open a couple packs today. Maybe not actually. I think I'm still unassigned or I've got some items I need to clear out basically, but I want to talk about what went on today in foot regarding some of the market trends, some of these team of the year cards, and what else I saw today on the market. I know some of you guys have Thursday flips still, and I'm in the boat too, uh, with some Thursday flips that really haven't risen a ton yet, right? We've gotten some lazy sales today. We've gotten some decent sales uh, that weren't actually lazy at all, like the Sterling at 180. I don't think is a lazy anymore, which is crazy, but uh, some prices today really went up on the market. Some of them stayed around the same range. It just stuff was like all over the place today. And I talked about this in my video yesterday that a lot of people just opening packs on this game was going to be the thing that moved the market the most uh, in terms of panic selling, in terms of stuff like that, but also just seeing stuff rise in this game in terms of packs coming on to the game, right? So many people who had save up, saved up packs, saved up weekend league rewards, saved up draft packs, SBC packs, and all sorts of that stuff. They were open today and you saw a lot of that happen on the market. You saw a lot of things panic, like get packed a bunch right around 1 to 2 p.m. UK or 6, 6 to 7 p.m. UK today, 1 to 2 p.m. my time. And then you saw a lot of stuff also just boom after that prime that time frame. I want to talk about some of these team of the years and what I do think could happen with their prices, right? So right now, Trent Alexander-Arnold, I think he's like 1-1. One, one. Yeah, he's just under 1-1. One, one. So he's actually dropping a little bit. But this card earlier today, you got to check this out, boys. Check out this graph. Trent Alexander-Arnold, these Team of the Year cards had crazy, crazy market movements today because of their insane demand. Look at this. Everybody opened their packs early this morning. They panic sold. They knew he was going to be in packs. Down to 970,000 coins at uh, 7 p.m. UK. Literally two hours later, he is 1.2 mil. This guy went up 250,000 coins in basically two hours because basically people opened their packs. They got coins, they went out and they bought the cards. So a lot of people bought these cards today, I think. Uh, and it just goes to show how much demand there are for some of these Team of the Year cards. And it wasn't just Alexander Arnold. Let's look at Delict, for example, as well. A pretty cheap and budget Team of the Year card, right? 900,000 coins for a Team of the Year is pretty cheap, to be honest. 850,000 coins at one point today, back to 970. He's now at 905. So a lot of these are starting to come back down. So it looked like a lot of people opened packs, they bought them, and now they're starting to come back down as they continue to be packed, as people try them out and they sell them. And as they know, there's going to be a lot of packs opened tomorrow as well. So if you were somebody who bought a card today, um, if there's still an opportunity for you to flip it, I think that I would. Robertson was 700k today, man. And now he's 800,000 coins. I still think if you bought any of these cards today in the low, and I think... If they're still if they're still up, I think you want to sell and take the money on those cards because I do think there's going to be like people love to panic sell this year. So I think there's a possibility that people will panic sell these cards heading into 6 p.m. UK again. Um, and then you might see them drop down as we head into the promo packs on Friday. Friday is a huge day. Last year, the team of the years were actually the cheapest on Friday. I don't know if they're going to get as cheap as they were yesterday, but I do think we'll see a dip. Mbappe was 5'7". Mbappe was 5'7 during the panic, rose back up over 6. He's now just over 6 again. Uh, especially on the, like, the defenders and the guys that get packed more. Conte as well. Like Some of these drops, man, I do feel like they could drop a little bit more. Uh, especially because they're going to be in packs a couple extra days. Now, the buy time really is curious to me. Since they made these cards available in packs, they made them available until Tuesday, which is one day extra than last year. Uh, Alexander Arnold right now, 1.1 flat open bids. Uh, a real way to gauge the price of the card too and how much panic there is, is to look at the bids, right? There's a bid at 1.1 mil right here. So people are seeing this bid at 1.1 mil and they're not going to undercut that card at the 59th minute 
at 1.1 mil because they know that somebody is there wanting to buy it at that price. So once you th see that one expire, then you might see some undercuts if these don't sell. That's one thing to, to note and to mention about when you see some cards like that and see bids like that on the market and what that means. But they made this interesting because these pa these cards last year, they went out of packs on Monday at 6 p.m. UK. To this year, they're going out of packs Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK. So I'm interested to see what the one more day of supply does for them. Will it hurt them? I don't really know. I feel like for a lot of these cards, the lowest point might be, uh, you know, I the real thing that I'm really kind of questioning right now, and I don't know the answer to this, is the lowest day going to be today, Friday? Or was it yesterday, Thursday? Was that dip right before they, they actually came into packs and when they were starting to be packed? Was that the lowest point? Or will the lowest point be weekend league sell-off? The only thing that I think would make the lowest point be weekend league sell-off is if we got some massive massive SBCs later this week. I'm talking like a Pogba, maybe like a Zlatan. If they make really, really good value and really, really juiced player moments and other flashback SBCs that people would sell and go do, then I think that might cause some panic on the market for team of the years if people have to sell those cards to get coins. Because some people right now in this game open packs today and now all their coins are put in a team of the year player that they're trying. So we got uh, Bernardo moments today. Insane looking card. I wish they would have given him center attack in mid. But uh, this card is very craftable through the SBCs, these uh, Premier League upgrades and the gold upgrades. I've hitting, been hitting those. I've been starting on Dava Louise as well. You can craft icons, um, stuff, icon upgrades, stuff like that. If you're hammering the packs right now like I am, it's so freaking fun, man. It's so fun to be smashing these packs, especially getting that Allison card today. It was nuts. Finally got a team of the year. It felt so good. It felt so good. Premier League Player of the Month is coming this morning, today. You're going to see a new SBC here. I think it's going to be KDB, so be watching for that. And that's going to be a card that could impact Kevin De Bruyne's price himself as well. Uh, because KDB right now, I think, is somewhere around like 2.8 mil. Let me see if I can find him at like 2.8, 2.9. I think that's where KDB is, yeah? Like 2.8-ish mil? 2.8 mil for KDB. 2.87 right now at the moment. So... If he does get a player of the month tomorrow, it probably will be a 95 rated player of the month card. And depending on how much they make that SBC, if they make that SBC like six or 700 K, I think you'll see some panic on this card because it's so much less and you'll be able to grind and craft that KDB player of the month. That's an SBC that I will be very interested in crafting. Depending on the price, I might be very interested in crafting that SBC. So watch this price tomorrow. If you have this card, I think I would sell it to be honest, 2.8 mil. I think I might sell the card. This is a card that's going to rebound for sure after this promo because that KDB card is just freaking nuts. Um, so I would do I would do mention I do want to mention that. But for the rest of KDB's other special cards, if we do see again like some panic today um, on some of these, and the SBC comes out and it's very highly it's an expensive SBC, then maybe you see these rebound a little bit, right? Because you still have to remember, people have weekend league games to play. So right there, that KDB at 269, the next cheapest is 290. So what do we have, like 15K-ish tax? It's not really a card I could flip, to be honest. If it was 250 now, I would buy it. But um, one thing that I still think we have to remember is for some of the lower tier market, I think some cards can still go up. KDB's in form right now is 299,000 coins. Wow, that is up a ton. That is up a lot. He's 300K, basically. He was 230. He was 230K in the panic early this week. Um, so, But just be careful with one of those informs if you do have it. I do think the player of the month could affect his price today, if, especially if it's decently priced, right? 600K, I think, would make all of his special cards go down because he's got that team of the group stage, which is like 400-something K. And um, 400, like 50, maybe it's closer to 500 now. But then he's got the other two in for the inform and the other special card. So this card's like 470, maybe 450 ish. The group stage one. And this one would be the one that would kind of squash the other ones in price, right? That's kind of what happens when a player gets another special card that the, uh, the ones below it kind of just get squashed down and down. So definitely watch this card tomorrow. Watch his 94 rated His 94 rated. I think it's like 700,000 coins. So if they made that SBC less than 800 K, I do believe that we would see some panic on this De Bruyne card. Let me check on that price exactly to make sure how much this uh, KDB inform is. 94 KDB is 765,000 coins. So this is the card that I'd be scared of tomorrow if they make the player of the month around 800K or less. 
Um, and the player and the team of the year too, I do think could take a hit. Um, and then I don't think you're going to see a ton of market movements for that SBC. I don't think you'd see a lot of Premier League golds rise, maybe a little bit, but people are going to be crafting that SBC by doing these league upgrades. So, uh, I wouldn't be too worried about that. You can just craft that SBC over the weekend as we do packs and as we do upgrade packs and stuff like that, uh, for those team of the year cards. So that's one of my thoughts on that. Also, we will get the 12th man today. Cristiano Ronaldo should be our 12th man. I think. It seems like Ronaldo should be the 12th man. His gold card was around 800,000 coins before this week. It looks like right now he's 870-ish. Is that correct? Yeah, 870K for Ronaldo at the moment. I don't know if his gold card would drop going out of packs um, or if there would be panic sold at all, but Ronaldo's team of the year card, if it does come, which I think he should be the 12th man winner today, some people have asked me about selling his nominee. They think, will it go down? I don't think the nominee will go down that much, to be honest. How much is this card right now? 1.3 mil. So it's at its highest point ever, at least right now on the market. I've not seen this card over 125. He's 1.3 uh, for like the last week or so. It's pretty high. So um, that card being that high is very interesting to me. But uh, the team of the year, I don't think should affect this that much because this card should be somewhere around... Uh, the team of the year, at least, should be around like four and a half to five million coins, I think. Maybe four to five. So I don't think that would affect his team of the year nominee that much. So if you have that card, I think you're in safe hands. If there's any panic selling, that's honestly pretty ridiculous on it. Uh, and then again, icons were uh, all over the place today. This kind of viral card was somebody who I mentioned to you guys last uh, yesterday's video. I mentioned that he could be a card that would get panic sold a decent amount thanks to um, just the fact that a lot of the other prime icon center backs are going to be out, or excuse me, the team of the year center backs are going to be out. And look what happened to this guy, this guy late. During the packs, the onslaught, 910,000 coins. He's rebound basically back to a mil. So that happened with his card today. I saw Prime Blanc, who is another card that I mentioned in yesterday's video. Prime Blanc, I said under a million coins was a good buy. He went further thought. The man went down to 935,000 coins back up over 150k to 1075 so that was a big time swing on the block card today and watch for these sorts of things tomorrow man i'm actually going to have some coins tomorrow i'm probably i'm probably going to try to trade a little bit around the drop if i can get on the market even desai was at 1.05 he's now at the 1.1 get on some of the snipes for some of these cards especially if it's a i think the center backs are in a prime position to be panic sold a little bit um, just because of how cheap Delict is, and it's very easy to get this guy in your squad uh, to try him out. Carlos Alberto was another one that I shouted. He was like 680, I think, at one point today, and I think he's just back at 700, so he hasn't moved a terrible amount, but he is up a little bit. So again, if you still have Thursday flips, which I do, I'm not in a hurry to sell these, these Thursday flips, boys, okay? If you still have Thursday flips, be patient. Just hold on to them, honestly. I think it's fine to still have these. I think these cards are going to go up even more into the nighttime tonight. And all the sales that I've had today are freaking lazy buyers. Like, right, you saw those Sterling's at 180K, right? Sterling team of group stage, I'm getting sales at 180K. This guy actually on the market, we're gonna find him right now. He's like one, he's like 160 something, 170. Group stage Sterling, according to Footbin, still shows at 160 or 170. So I'm getting pretty big, lazy sales. And that just tells me that there are a lot of coins on this game and there's a lot of people that are willing to spend the money on some of these cards. So, um, well, we don't actually have a Sterling at that price. We don't have a Sterling. Nope. No Sterling's there. So if we bump this up to 180, but I sold mine at 188. So I feel really good about some of those lazies. Of course, list your card for lazies, even tomorrow night, man. Saturday morning, Friday night into Saturday morning should be like the highest time for some of these out of pack specials. Where's team of the group? Where's the Sterling left wing, man? Where is this card at? Is he like super rare right now? Am I not actually getting a good sale price? Where is he at? He's one. Wow. He actually is 185 right now. That's crazy. Cause Flippin says 165. I literally just looked at team of the group stage and Flippin says 168. So that's another reason. Uh, another thing to do boys, when you're around late in the market, looking at stuff like this, Flippin might say 168. Somebody lists it for 168, but he, you could actually get a sale on this card right now for definitely somewhere around 180. So you find an undercut like that, you could possibly in for a, be in for a quick flip uh, when the market is high like this. Sometimes Footbin doesn't update the prices fast enough for how much the market buys up cards. So you can look at open bids uh, and just especially the out of packs informs like this that just get rare and 
there's special cards that people still want for their team. So that's how I feel about Thursday flips. I do see the market rising even higher tomorrow night, to be honest. Uh, I do think some informs and a lot of the special cards and icons will rebound, especially if they're meta, very usable. So that's something to keep an eye on. And it's gonna be a great day to trade tomorrow as well. Lighting around 6 p.m. UK. Some of these cards are gonna get packed again. Team of the years, I would expect a similar kind of upswing as that happened today as well. Dude, people are actually bidding 112 on this Trent. People are lazy buying a Trent Alexander. Can we look at this card really quick? People are lazy buying this card? What? People are lazy buying Trent Alexander Arnold. What is he right now? Uh, left wing, we gotta clear that. He's literally 1.096 right now on the market, first owner fresh. And there's somebody bidding on this card right now. <laughs> man, I tell you what, man, this is just too funny to watch sometimes. So again, be careful with who you're bidding on. Be careful with some of these prices. I do think the team of the years will take a dip today uh, as the new lightning rounds come out, as the new promo stuff comes out, more packs are opened, and then a rise into the nighttime. So if you want to pick one of these up around 6 p.m., 7 p.m. UK would be my recommendation for picking up a team of the year card if you want to use it in weekend league and then try to sell it Saturday midday-ish if you can. So it's not a it's not a very big time frame, but it's kind of the one that you have to work in and work with uh, in, in the way that these cards are going to be. And I would just want to get it. I would, I would tell you to please just get it out before any hint of weekend league sell-off basically is what I would say for cards like these. But these cards are going to get packed more. They're in packs for a few more days. Uh, but the huge, huge supply of them came today because of just the amount of packs that were open was pretty insane. So yeah, hopefully you guys made some coins today. And please, if you're getting team of the year pack pulls, if you're packing these cards, tweet me on Twitter. My Twitter link is below in the description and I'll probably have some pack opening uploads coming for you guys as well. It's, we're just going to be spanning a ton of these packs during team of the year. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Uh, and hopefully you guys, again, are getting good pack pulls having fun, building teams, whatever you're doing. Good luck on Weekend League. If you're playing as well, I'm probably not going to be just because uh, I want to build packs, honestly. <laughs> that is honestly my reasoning for that. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.